Hey guys, welcome back to the makeup room. I know it's been a little bit, um, kind of been doing some more chatty kind of stuff and just kind of chilling and hasn't really been a whole lot of inspiring things going on, but there is some new stuff out and I did grab them. First off, put it, this isn't a first impression. This is like, I know I got a lot of fair skin beauties that watch me and this is a really, really good. It's called Completely Septa and it's made from makeup, uh, Makeup Forever and it's a lip pencil. I have that on. You can also use it in your waterline. Their stuff is either or kind of things. But this is like, I have, it's all I have on my lips today and it's really nice and it matches like so many colors. If you want something just to kind of, you know, shape up the edge. You see how I have to overline right here because this side is higher than that. It just works really good. Anyway, onto what we're doing. I have seen a couple, and I mean just a couple of people review these. Now, if you have not seen these, these are from Huda. Or some people don't like to review Huda's products. I mean, it is what it is. You do you, you, you do you boo, but I, these sounded neat. I have very hooded eyes and these are supposed to like be a godsend for hooded eyes. Now, okay, bubble bath. Now what this is, they are called Huda Booty Matte and, and Metal Melted Shadows, if you can read that. That is what you get. You get a shimmer on this side and you get a matte on this side. Now, let me grab a brush. It is highly suggested that you use a synthetic brush with, I know this is, this is a synthetic for sure. Okay, just pay attention. <laughs> All right, now I watched um, Huda, whatever her name is, uh, do this on a plane. And she showed it's just very easy. Anyway, you just lightly put some of this in to the crease she showed just kind of, ooh, that is light. Showing it, she showed three little dots and then she took a brush and just kind of, I want to really concentrate that towards the outside. And I have used the P. Louise base on my eye, but I have not set it. The P. Louise, you don't have to set. Wow, that is a very light color, even for me. I mean, it gives you an idea. Let's see if you can build this a little bit. I'm not getting the color payoff that I wanted from this. There we go. There we go. I guess that is about what we're going to get. It is very light, but that is a nice um, kind of transition color. I wish I had another. The other one's light, too. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Oh, that is nice. Now, I just took a little makeup wipe because I wanted to see what actually would be on my brush, and it's very, very little. But that is, that is kind of pretty. It did almost turn to like a powder. Kind of cool. Let's go ahead and do the other eye. Now, I did see the purplish colored one people having problems with. If you watch Mel Thompson, she used this. And um, I'm gonna go a little heavier on this side because it seems like this color, you're kind of having to go a little heavy with. Because there's, I mean, it's not that it's not got a lot of pigment. It does for what it is. Let me, I had a little too much on my brush. I'm gonna try to blend that out. I'm trying to keep it more towards the outside and kind of give that eye a nice shape. I'm gonna use this as a transition color for the next product I'm going to use. And then I will use the um, metallic from this one. I'm going to show you two different kind of liquid products today. Um, I am a big fan of the Stila Melted uh, Magnificent Metals. God, why can't I? It's kind of a wash of color and it's really, it's giving me what I want. And this is a very light color. If you guys do not know, I am the lightest shade in 9 out of 10 foundations. Um, from what I've seen, once you're used to these, you can do an eye look in like seconds. I could see doing an eye look with this in like 10 minutes. If I go ahead and wipe my brush just on my, just on my hand to get the excess off. 
And what I want to do is come up here and I want to really soften that line right there. There, that really helped. Pretty, and it's not sticky. It's not sticky at all. It's almost setting down like a, like a powder. Now the next item I'm gonna pull out are these here. I haven't even opened these. I thought these were gorgeous. I did not see these pop up because Tarte is really one of my favorite um, companies as far as like eyeshadows go. As far as eyeshadows go, like, you know, eyeshadow palettes. There's been very few that I didn't like from them, but as far as like the How the Stila Magnificent Metals, these are as close as I've really seen to how they are. But I played around with these in the store and I put it on my hand. Let me show you what I did. These are the two colors I tried out. This is called uh, Night Dive. This is so pretty. You can't even, it's got greens, it's got blues, it's even got like purples and it's kind of a pinkish kind of base. Let me go ahead and put some of that on here. Look at how just gorgeous that is. Now, I wanna show you the neat little thing that I discovered about this. Now, most of them, once they kind of dry down like that, you kind of wipe them and it just kind of turns to nothing. Now, this was a little different. The I probably should have shown you in the blue. Let me see if this is, it's not drying down. It takes a while to dry down. But while that's drying down, I can show you, I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna try this on my eye. I'm gonna go and just straight in, and I wanna do this kinda of on the outside corner, right here, of my eye. I wonder if I should just let it dry down. I don't wanna open my eye because my eyes are very hidden and I do not want this to transfer. I'm gonna do this on the outer third of my eye trying to keep my eye closed, which is not working. And I'm gonna find a little brush just to, little brush here. And I wanna use that just to kind of pat that edge down. This is actually the teal kind of blue color that they had. They have an actual like blue, blue. This is called, Lights the beach. <laughs> it's drying down really nice. It's drying down really nice. It is transferring just a tiny bit. Let's go ahead and get it over here on the other eye. I think I'm going to use the other one of these in um, my inner corner. That first color, this one, I think that would just be so pretty for that. Um, I'm probably a little too light for it, but you probably could even use this for a highlighter. I think that might actually be very pretty. I'm gonna grab this straight off of the, um, I'm gonna grab it straight here with the brush. And this is just, it's just a pencil brush. This is the uh, M574 from Morphe. I wanna see how this builds up here. And I don't care, and it's actually doing really, really well. This, I, I really liked how this um, was in the store. That's why I jumped right on the train to buy it. Bang. And I'm not really getting that transfer. Now, if you have hooded eyes, I think this is going to really be something amazing. For I'll show you this. Okay. It is dried down, but look. I'm rubbing hard, and you see it's not, it's not just coming off, and it's still... It's still sparkly. I think about putting this under as well, but um, let's get the top done and then we'll go to the bottom. I wonder what this would look like on the inner part. Let me see. I don't know what I'm gonna think. Well, you know what? What the hey? I wanna do this on the inner. This is the Huda. Now I'm gonna, I have hooded eyes, so I'm gonna give this a second to dry. Um, if you have hooded eyes and you use the Stila Magnificent Metals, you know they will transfer. But if you let it dry, see, we're not getting really like heavy transfer. Um, I do like to go ahead and take just a very small brush. It's one of my favorite brushes. This is the e.l.f., that little e.l.f. crease brush you guys see me always use. And I'm going to just go around and just kind of make sure that we're kind of blend it off. I'm trying to blend that blue 
and that into each other right here so it's not such a harsh line it's very difficult going from such a dark color into such a light color but I'm gonna put something down the middle I think too so let's go ahead and get this on the other eye I like how these products are working together believe it or not um, you know, I wouldn't suggest really trying to build up this Huda one. Um, the thing I've noticed about it is one fast sweep. You know, I don't know if you see how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of going across and I'm trying to keep it as thin as I can. Let me see here. I do want to put just a tiny bit right here where I wiped that out a little too more than I wanted to. There we go. Same thing, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm leaving this time in where I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna edit this out where they're drying because I really want you to see it doesn't take but a very short, you know, minute or so to dry. You're gonna get such a better payoff if you do let it dry. I had to get me some more. Nothing like doing something with your eyes closed. <laughs> All right, let me see if this dried here. That still is a little damp. I think it's still a little damp. Now, um, I'm going over it and just kind of patting off that excess because I don't want it real heavy on there. If you get it heavy, I have a feeling you're gonna wind up, you know, with it peeling later because just like the Stila, they tend to uh, kind of crumble. Ugh, something is getting in my eye. I hope it's not this product. I don't think it is. I think it's just me. And I'm just kind of going to go between that. I'm trying to kind of blend that teal into that pink a little bit. I think it's is that I think it was called bubble bath wasn't it pink champagne that's the pink champagne color in the life's a beach I'm gonna go back in this is the one I used up top this is the um, crease brush from pure cosmetics it was from their oh my gosh my little pony uh, campaign that they did and I'm just gonna kind of clean that up around the edge right there now, if you see, I, I have extremely hooded eyes, and I'm not, like, getting super, super, I'm trying to push it over. I'm not getting a whole lot of transfer. Now, you do see how it kind of did up top right there, but that's, like, in that crease. That is very pretty, though. I don't know what I'm going to do with the bottom and the center. I will be right back. I'm going to grab a couple of things, and we'll be right back. And I am back. I grabbed the um, Tarte. What was this? Oh, what was this? I don't remember what this palette. Oh, do Be a Mermaid palette. Be a Mermaid and Make Waves is what it was called. It was the clam shaped one. And I was thinking of this color right here. It's kind of got purples, pinkies, and kind of teal colors. What is this called? Bubbles. It was called Bubbles. And that is, let me show you that there. See, it's got a little bit of everything, and I'm just going to take that, and I'm going to lightly, I'm just going to press it, but it's not working the way I want it to. I'm going to grab this little flat brush here, and I'm going to grab that color. I'm just grabbing this. This is out of the, what was that? Uh, it came in my boxy charm. I'm going to use that just to obscure those two colors kind of together right there. See, that kind of blends out that line a little bit for me, because it's got a little bit of everything and a whole lot of life there we go that really that did it there we go tart come on baby there we go that blended that line out and softened it up quite a bit that was bubbles out of this palette really there's a lot of that's kind of a popular color in palettes it has a red base and then it has kind of a greeny purple uh, duochrome to it is very popular as far as duochromes go um, I've seen it in everything from uh, Tarte, Mac, uh, I think Jeffree Star has even done one. It's a very popular duochrome color. Um, the one I think of the most when I see that is, uh, is Makeup Geek for some reason. And I believe it was in the Mini Amiway palette. Okay, now the underneath, what are we going to do in the 
on the underneath. I kind of want to stick to that teal color, but where can I find? I know I'm jumping all around, guys. I'm trying to find who does a teal. I need a real pretty teal. For, you know what? I'm going to go right back into this palette and go into that shipwreck color right there. And I'm going to try that up underneath. I'm just going to grab this as a, um, a C409 Angle Definer from Crown. And I'm going to go into, it's called Splash, the color. And I'm just going to come along and bring that. Oh, yeah, that is good. It almost matches that exactly. I'm just going to connect that corner into the bottom lash line right there just to kind of shape that corner i'm not coming in too far um you can also if you want you can use that same uh product that we used on top the uh the liquid eyeshadow but i don't really i'm not real comfortable with putting that under my eye like that because it does kind of bump into the waterline and i don't want that to happen that is very pretty you can even come up into here and just kind of make sure you've got a nice shape there I'm trying to keep that kind of pointed out how many times am I gonna say hooded eyes in this in this video <laughs> probably a hundred because I hate them I have hooded eyes so bad now you can either go ahead and um, use what do you want to use in the waterline? You know what would be really pretty? That would be really, really like, uh, that might be a little too, I wonder what that would be. It might be a little too bright. I don't know if I want to go that bright. I don't want to go that bright. Let's see. I have like every color under the rainbow. Let's see. I really would like to do kind of a, oh, that's, this is pretty. This irritates my eyes. Though. This is Milani, um, it's the liquid eye, liquid like eyeliner. And it, for some reason, I don't know if you guys, let me know below if you guys have had any problems with that because it tends to irritate my eye and I can't, I can't understand why. Let's see what I have in here. What is this one? You know what? I'm just going to grab this NYX. I'm not sure if this will work. I did have a problem with some of these being a little too hard for my waterline. No, actually this is working. This is a little more of a blue, but oh yeah, that pops. This is NYX in Azure, I almost said Azure, A-Z-U-R-E, Azure, Azure, oh. I'm not good at pronunciation, guys. I failed pronunciation in school. I think I failed spelling, to be honest with you. This is pretty, though. That is pretty. That really made that pop. Now I'm going to, I think, something is irritating my eye. I don't think it's the makeup because it was irritating my eye before I ever started this morning. Um, but I had used some new body lotion and I, I think I got it on my face and it may have gotten in my eye. I tried, um, it's this new coconut stuff. God, it smells so good. It's by uh, Sol de Janeiro. But it's not good in your eye. <laughs> that I can tell you. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do is I want to try this um, this night dive in the waterline. But I'm going to grab I'm going to grab that little brush. Let me go ahead and oh, that one's got a little that one's got color on it. That's not going to work. Where was I need one of those little crease those crease type brushes. I'm just going to grab this little 213 from Morphe. This is an M213 right here. It's just a little tiny, tiny brush. And I'm going to grab the Night Dive and I'm going to pick that up on here. And I'm just going to put that right there. I know I said I wasn't going to put this near my waterline, but I'm going to try it right here on the corner and I will let you know how that does. It's not really getting in my eye, but I'm staying kind of out from there. If you can see, see I'm staying out here where I'm not really getting that in the waterline. But that is very, very pretty. I do like that color. You know, I might even just go ahead. There we go. That actually worked perfect. That was the perfect size to get right in there and just kind of put that right, 
right in there. And you know, I have been liking pulling that slightly under right there. See where it really just makes that kind of pop? I want a little wider than normal, but that's fine. That is pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I haven't been feeling all that great, but anywho, that is that. I don't know what you guys think. I am kind of liking it. It's a nice, simple eye. Um, now, I did want to show you that I put this on the other day in Sephora, and I had it. Let me see if I can kind of rub it in or something. I had it on my hand. It's very pretty. And I kind of, I kind of blended it out like this because I wanted to see how well this blended. And it does, it blends for days. I mean, you can, you can really put this on and blend it in as long as it's wet. As long as it's damp. That's what I was telling you with the other one. You could really use that on the high points of your cheeks and really get a pretty, pretty um, highlighter. This is what I was talking about, the staining. I just wiped that. See, I wiped that with a makeup wipe and you get a little bit of staining. I mean, you really, what I did was took a little bit of oil and got right, rid of it, but I did want to show you that. I had it on the back of my hand. See, and it will, you're gonna get some staining out of this product. If you are more fair like I am and your skin tends to stain. If you have drier skin, God, that made my veins in my hand really like show up. That's crazy, because it picked up the blue. You can see every vein in my hand that way, crazy. But you can see it does, it does stain just so you get kind of a heads up with that. The other, um, the other thing is I'm really, I'm really liking it. It doesn't look like it's going to transfer. This top part is really nice and smooth. I'm covered in this, covered in herpes of the makeup world right now. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I finally got, if you guys haven't tried this, this spray is amazing. I know, I'm going to show up about Morphe, but look at, you can like hold this thing for an hour and it's, it's a very light mist. See, it's very light. So, I mean, it's, even though it looks like I'm putting a lot, see it barely, it gives you a nice soft, soft mist and it does really help the makeup. I think if you have drier skin, it's really going to help, but I do enjoy it. Um, I got the last couple of brushes in. I'm going to butcher the name of this, but these are the Hakuhodu brushes, and these are the same company that make the Wayne Goss brushes. So if you have heard of Wayne Goss brushes, this is the same company, and they are just made super, super amazing. Um, if you want to see how to spell it, this is how you spell it here. See, can you see that? There you go. H A K U H O D O. Hakahodu. And they are just really, this is a natural hairbrush. I mean, but look at the quality of those hairs and the quality of these ferrules. These are very nicely made brushes. They are not much more expensive than <clears throat> the Morphe brushes, to be quite honest with you. I believe I paid 18, I believe around for those. And um, I got two brushes and I think I paid under $40 for both of them. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I really wanted to get these products out and show you. And see, it's not, I mean, I'm really happy with, I don't want to really like wipe my eye because I am going somewhere and I love this makeup, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting transfer like I normally would. Um, I will check in. I'm not going to sign off here. I'm going to actually put a couple check-ins after this so we can kind of talk and um, talk about the longe longevity of these. So I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. 
just a quick check-in. This is like, what is it, like four hours, almost five hours later. And it is still holding up. It is not transferring. And it's where it normally, like, wears off right in here. It's not. And I'm, like, shocked. And I normally would, like, wipe this out. It'll bug me. It hasn't bugged me at all. It's holding up nicely. I will check in one more time before... I sign off. Thanks, guys. Back again for uh, yet another check-in. This is in natural sunlight, which totally blinds it out, but you can see it is still in rare form. It has been, oh God, like seven hours. This is like never happens. It's usually all broke up in here, which hard to show you see all up in there it's there it's there it's there <laughs> I'm sorry I'm being so silly because this is like the first time that I have ever 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 had a colorful eyeshadow last even like steel and magnificent metals don't last all that great on me but um I will be using this very regular I will tell you I am absolutely loving it. That's a much better angle, but I mean, you can see it and you can't miss it. It is like in rare form. It honestly, besides like the corner a little bit because I wiped my eye like really hard right here, something was bugging this eye as it was earlier in the video and I was rubbing my eye, but I mean, look, it didn't come off. But I will tell you that this is still blue and that still has some blue. I'm anxious to see how the um, the lid does, and uh, if you check on my check on my Instagram later, I'll do a little update on that. I'm not gonna like hold off and do the whole remove it thing, like I've done before. Or um, let me know if you guys want me to start doing that with um, certain products. Show actually removing them so I, I can show you guys the staining and how, you know, if there's any residual effects as far as that goes. I will tell you one thing. This is the first time that my foundation has broke up before my eyeshadow. That's crazy. And this is uh, Too Faced Born This Way. Oh, God. And it's kind of, I don't know if you can see right here, it's really just, it's not doing well. But, um, I didn't want it real heavy, and if you know Too Faced, the Born This Way foundation is very full coverage. And what I did is I took, and I used a sponge, and I sprayed some setting spray into it with the, um, with the foundation and kind of blotted it in and then when I was finally finished I sprayed my face kind of heavy and then blotted it in um, and then as you guys saw earlier in the video I went to town with the uh, spray on top of it again I, I think I just put a lot of setting spray but that usually works very well with me because my skin is so freaking dry right around here around my eyes and around you know right in this cheek area here is usually what dries out under here is absolutely horrible, which I've got, what is that? I've got something under my eye. Wow. Oh, you know what? That's just my skin popping through. I'm so not used to that happening. It like never happens that my foundation is outlasting my eyeshadow. Never. Usually my, my eyeshadow is gone within four hours max. And that's if I like really, really set it on there, you know, cake it basically cake it on use the P. Louise base and just really really pack it on there and just lightly shadow out the um the edges but this I am really happy um I am going to actually get the Huda in the other colors I'm thinking about keeping the one that I actually know that's it's kind of like a uh, it's like an off-white kind of color and it's that's not me um, what I got, it was hoops and fake fur, or I don't know, something crazy. My camera's not wanting to focus very well today, guys, sorry. But, um, I actually wanted the purplish burgundy one, which I better hurry up and get it, because I noticed they are selling out in the stores, 
which I should have just grabbed it when I was down there. But I'm going to go online and order the rest of them right now. I'm going to get the, uh, one of them is called Hot Sauce. It's red, and I used that in the um, Sephora here, and I really, really liked it. I mean, like, really liked it. So I'm going to get that one, and I'm going to get the one that's got the mauve purples in it. So thank you guys for watching, and if you are in the market for something that's really going to last, and I have tried tons of these. The main thing I'm talking about is the Tarte, the sea glass, that blue is what I'm really, really just over the moon about. Now, the um, the Huda, the in the pink that's on the inner part, that's uh, sh champagne or bubble bath. I, I forget which one it was. It was that one of them was called champagne, one of them was called bubble bath. I think the shiny color was champagne. But that is holding up just as well, but the blue is what's really blowing my mind. And the inner corner, which is also the Tarte. Um, it's the Tarte Sea Gloss. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching and supporting me as you always got, as you guys always do. Sorry, getting tongue-tied. But it means the world to me. You know, we've come a long way from, like, nothing. And we've built a nice little community on here. And, um... Right now, I don't have any giveaways going on, so guess what that means? Time to start another giveaway. Let me know what you guys would like to see. I was trying to get a couple more of the James Charles palettes, but um, I'm not going to spend 100 bucks. I, I was going to spend like 60 but somebody on Poshmark had some up for 60 but they're, they're already gone. They're sold out. I was going to buy a couple of those, even though they are higher price than the what they should be I was gonna do it anyway just because I love you guys so much and I was gonna do it for you guys but anyway I will see you guys soon I love you and have a wonderful half in the sunshine wonderful day bye